everyone, this is Miss Angelina. I am your IELTS coach and your language trainer. And today in this video, I will be answering all your questions related to how to improve English, how to improve your pronunciation, fluency, and how to be an accurate speaker. We'll talk about reading issues, we'll talk about writing issues as well. So I'm just waiting for you guys to come online and ask me your questions. And in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about an amazing tongue twister today as well. So Ahmad Badr has joined me already. Hi Ahmad, how are you today? I hope you're doing good. I hope you had a good day. And the question for today that you need to answer is, you have to tell me about your favorite holiday destination in the world. You have to tell me about your favorite holiday destination in the world. Why would you like to go there? And with who would you like to go there? Please type in the comment section below, which is your favorite holiday destination. Why would you like to go there? With who would you like to go there? And this is your question for today that you would be answering for me. I will read your answers and I will try to correct any errors based on grammar or sentence structure in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Miss Angelina. I am your IELTS coach and a language trainer. And today I'm live to answer all your questions for uh, for your problems related to, you know, speaking, listening, reading, or writing, right? So many people have joined in. There's a person named Farah Abbasi. Hey, Farah, how are you? You're the same person from yesterday. Thanks so much once again. And I'm just going to tell you the question for today. The question for today is, which is your favorite holiday destination? Why do you like it? Why would you like to go there? And with who would you like to go there? Would you like to go with your family, with your boyfriend, your husband, your children, your friends, or your best friend? With who would you like to go there? Uh, Farah is saying, hello ma'am, how are you? Ahmed Badar is saying, Pakistan is one of the best countries to visit. Yes, of course, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, you're looking gorgeous. Yeah, sometimes, you know, just because beauty lies in the eyes of beholder, Farah, you see me as a gorgeous person. That's the only reason. The beauty lies right in your eyes. Uh, Rais, uh, okay, I can't read your name. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Abid Ali is saying, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Um, uh, Kiel Rao is saying that, good initiative. What country are you from? We're going to talk about it later because this is my live stream. And I'm not going to answer any personal questions because, of course, I upload the same live stream on my YouTube channel as well. So it's better to keep on going with the topic of the day. Um, hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, Sunny. Thank you so much. And I received a call from you as well. And that was great, great, great. So the question for today that you need to answer for me in the comment section below is quite simple. That is, which is your favorite holiday destination? For all those people who do not know the meaning of destination, favorite holiday spot or favorite place for holiday, that would be the easiest I think so, explanation of destination, right? So it could be a country, it could be an island, it could be your own country, it could be any place. Just name it for me in the comment section below. This is Miss Angelina. I am your IELTS coach and a language trainer. Okay. All right. All righty. All righty. Okay. In the meantime, I think it'll take a minute or more. In the meantime, I can drink something. Okay. Farah Basi is saying that uh, Pakistan, I love my country, Pakistan, and I want to explore every place of my country, and I want to go with my family and friends. Farah, you're awesome. You're great. Uh, Sumara, Sumar, Sumara Imran is saying that my favorite place is Rome. Rome is definitely beautiful because the old tradition have been seen by there uh, and I love to go with my family. I'd love to. Okay, so basically, yes, 
it has a lot of historical places and it's very nice and you're great amazing sumara very beautiful choice bali the b bali right the kilra bali is beautiful bali is just perfectly beautiful for our, uh pakistan which place in particular you know today what happened i'm teaching a student from a place called chalas chalas is a place that is that is very close to Gilgit Baltistan. So he just showed me his house and everything. He was living on a mountain, right? On a hill, hill, mountain, hill. It, I, and he lives right in front of the Nanga Berbat. You know, you know that th I think it's the third highest mountain in the world. And um, it's like so beautiful. Pakistan is a heaven. It's like a heaven. I don't know. Northern areas of this country amazing i've never been there but i have heard a lot and today when my students showed me all the places i was like absolutely amazed chalas was the name of the place or chalas was the name of the place i don't know uh exactly i don't remember okay so far i saying yes uh i'm the same person yeah 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 raja uh is saying that pakistan is a great place yes of course i definitely agree with you and people of pakistan are just amazing they're so hospitable they're so nice and kind i'm just telling you guys in pro you might think that you know americans or british people or canadian people they don't really have a heart like you guys you know you guys when you when you invite someone for a dinner you just cook so much food like variety of food is available you welcome that person and then lots of people sit together and you know there's a lot of charity going on as well so i think so that pakistani food pakistani people everybody is like amazing it's just the it's just the government probably very slow and sluggish kind but i think so people are beautiful people are nice very hospitable and very kind as well this is what i feel malik adil is saying how are you akil i was saying i visited bali once in my life and i want to go to each egypt you can call egypt with a longer sound or egypt your choice egypt or egypt uh sunny sin is saying that i was it chalice chalice gilgit hey you have that's great abid is saying that my favorite place is mm, i don't know madi madina madina ksa i think so you're talking about your place for pilgrimage right that's in uh saudi arabia right that's great rice is saying my favorite place is a uh, valley i want to go and spend some time with uh people who are living there okay uh great uh 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 akil rao is saying yeah the way we the way we greet is awesome yes the greeting the love the food everything is extra like spices are extra oil is extra food is extra people they love you so much that sometimes you're like oh my god i'm so lucky there's so much love people always communicate people always care for the feelings of others as well and people always like to talk you know in other countries uh, probably people are too busy they don't really talk to each other they don't really consider talking to another person but that's for sure that in here you know relatives you like your maternal relatives you like your paternal relatives you get together you have food together so it is like this adil rao is saying that uh yeah the way we greet is awesome farah is saying that yeah i know chitral one of my friends see one of my friends or roommates you're not gonna say one of my friends you would say one of my friends because you have many friends farah so you will say one of my friends is from Ch chitral and people from chitral are very beautiful yes even people from chalas are very beautiful they definitely look like blondes they're they're beautiful beautiful malik adil is saying that from ravel pindi okay mukta uh okay shiroz m ha hamid has joined hi ma'am hi how are you safir is saying hi 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 safir how are you uh, farai is saying that i'm i'm from islamabad and sunny is saying the people of pakistan are the best in hospitality and the beauty of pakistan yes beauty of your country is just just amazing just amazing uh and even villages are very beautiful i think so people are very strong um strong people have strong roots in their religion and culture right very conservative sometimes but they are very 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 
enrooted with their culture and religion. That's a good thing, though. Okay, so Malik Adil is saying my favorite place. Okay, uh, I've read that already. Hamza is saying, hi, ma'am. How are you? Hello, Hamza. I'm good. Thank you so much. Abid is saying Saudi Arabia. Yes, absolutely. Somebody is saying sup. Sup means what's up. Nothing much. I'm just talking to you guys. Uh, I love them. I love them because my mom is uh, a Pakistani Indian, whatever you want to call her. She is amazing and she is the best mom in the world. And she she's so giving. And I think so. She's amazing. I've never seen mums like Pakistani or Indian mums in the entire world. You know, they live for their children. They would sacrifice their entire life for their children. I don't, I, I have never, because they have this, this, I don't know, they have this charisma or they have, they have built these values that, you know, children are a part of their soul or whatever. In other countries, it's not like this. Your mom is going to get married to, to another person, probably forget about you or date another person and you're gone, right? So, or you're kicked out of your house after you're 18. So your mom is going to tell you, get out of my house, get a life of your own but it's not like this in here and that's what i love love about this culture you respect your grand uh, grandparents you respect your parents you have a lot of love for your family and friends relatives they keep on calling you they keep on asking you questions they care so much about your life more than they care about their life so this this is kind of scary sometimes that all your relatives call you and ask you, hey, when are you going to get married? Hey, when are you going to have kids? Hey, when are you buying a new house? That's kind of funny sometimes, but, you know, they, they care a lot. That's sweet. If you would just, just, just take it from a perspective of positivity, you would find it nicer. You would say that, oh, that's cute. Uh, okay, what else do we have in here? We have uh, Malik Adil saying, I want to improve my speaking strength. That's very good. Sunny is saying that, ma'am, I think uh, you like greenery most that's uh yes i uh would love to visit such an area uh, mokhtar emily is saying hi ma'am how are you uh okay hassan chata is saying that uh i'm in lahore right now yes thank you so much he, okay khan 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 hi how are you uh okay uh mine uh, uh my ielts teacher yes exactly uh okay what else do we have you speak very good english thank you so much it's just because you guys are listening to me uh you are you're the best person let's check your memory remember me muhammad mohsin latif if you would send me a selfie of yours i'll definitely recognize you because i might forget the names but i don't forget the faces i don't Sending waves. Muhammad Suleiman is saying that hi uh, uh, i'm watching you i'm watching for the first time you this i think so nice going thank you so much muhammad suleiman thank you muhammad mohsin latif is saying used to be your student at lavi mm, thank you i don't remember you but send me your face please okay send me your face like a picture or something i will definitely your accent is beautiful you uh, like thanks for starting live classes hey thank you so much it's about effective communication and connecting with your listener it's not about an accent it's not about anything else what's the use of my accent if i cannot talk to you race i'm talking to you i'm looking at you and i'm talking to you so what matters is to connect with a person understanding them and building that connection because if you talk about love the language of love is universal you don't even have to speak a word you know, it's just like that. Okay, so uh, Dr. Abdul is saying, good evening, good evening. Adil is saying, I do strongly agree with you statement regarding mothers. Yes, uh, Hassan Chata is saying, same, he same here. Okay, uh, hi ma'am for Chitari. Chitral, do you know about Chitral? I have heard a lot about it. It is beautiful. It is great. Never been there. I wish I could get a chance to go there because I would love to meditate in, 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 in those beautiful hills, you know, Pakistan is so beautiful. You guys are blessed. Yeah, uh, ma'am, it's true. How we can improve speaking skills? Hey, Shiroz, I'm just going to come to your question. Uh, there are so many people who have messaged. Uh, after uh, reading all the comments, Shiroz Hamid, I'm definitely going to answer your question. So, uh, salam, dear uh, ma'am. Uh, how are you? 
hope for a safe and healthy life thank you so much aziz thank you uh, uh rizwan ali razi is saying hello ma'am how are you i'm good thank you give some tips and tricks for speaking please uh and sadek sadek um i don't know is the name of this person okay so everybody is asking me where do i come from where do i come from i have to tell you the entire story i was born in sendai city japan sendai city japan i have a mom from the subcontinent and a dad from another country okay so that's the thing going on right now okay so basically uh ma'am you don't tell that i just told you sir i just told you where do i come from where do i come from right now i'm in lahore i am a language teacher and i am an ielts instructor i am running a school in here by the name of lavi school of english language right hasan ali has joined hello how are you uh you are in lahore whenever i visit lahore i must want to meet you yes farah you must come once my office is open i would love to see all of you guys you guys can come there have a chat with me and that would be lovely we can even take some selfies you know so uh for our for sure for sure whenever you come do come and meet me that would be just great 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 right now everyone i'm in lahore and i am right now living in dha phase 4 and um this is uh what i'm doing these days i'm teaching live online classes and free of cost to everybody and uh this is what i'm doing right now okay so if now somebody will ask me where do you come from i'll say i'll come from venus i i come from i come from venus right venus is a planet for women okay so uh beautiful top and you always look gorgeous uh keep it up thank you carol that is so nice of you you're an amazing person sending out love i hope you're safe okay so uh moving forward moving moving forward okay so there was a person who asked me this question that can you give us some tips to improve tips and tricks tips and tricks see people always talk about tips and tricks to have a shortcut to success see there is no shortcut to success you have to take the stairs if you're a beginner and you have just started learning english tips and tricks what do you mean by that this is not a one day examination this is all about your self growth and who you are as a person and how you need to grow and communicate effectively tips and tricks what do you mean you can ask me about how i can practice to improve my english tips and tricks are for for a formula like for math or for something like that not for speaking in general or understanding people whatever they want to say no matter which country they come from right uh okay so uh hi ma'am how are you doing ikra sayed is saying uh i'm doing good ikra how are you and uh, my question for today was um my question for today was i forgot the question hello got yes thank you so much momana thank you gorgeous top and says the most beautiful girl that i know momana right okay so um uh what was the question guys yes there was a person who was asking me uh what was the question m and joya is asking hello hi how are you uh okay tell us something about venus oh yes venus is uh far 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 away from here <laughs> that's all i can tell okay uh okay um it's a planet girl it's a planet okay so talking over and over again i'm telling you again guys that this is my live chat and i have to upload it on my on my youtube channel as well so i would just try to keep it relevant to the topic the topic for today was what was the topic for today oh uh, okay tell me about your favorite holiday destination where would you like to go with who would you like to go and why would you like to go there and after that i'm going to give you guys a tongue twister to practice rose rose is saying hi hi how are you Nice to meet you girl. Nice nice to meet you. Nice nice to meet you. Okay, so um 
Madam G. Like, I like your G. Like, G is like the sweet expression of calling somebody with respect, right? So, G. Asad G. Thank you. I'm good. Okay. So, uh, we are... Please type it. Type in the comment section below. Which is your favorite holiday destination? Why would you like to go in the... Favorite, yes, thank you. So, Farah, you are an active listener and you type really well. You are my assistant, my online assistant from today. Safir, you're no longer there, man. I don't care. Farah is my assistant from today. Okay, so thank you, Farah. Uh, Austria, folk, uh, folk, folk, is I saying Austria? Oh, Austria is a good place to visit. The question was about favorite destination. Yes, 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 girl, you're absolutely right. Uh, other people have not answered yet, so we're just going to repeat one more time for all those people who could tell us now that which is your favorite holiday destination? Which is your favorite holiday destination? Why would you like to go there? With who would you like to go there? And what would you like to do there? What would you like to do there? I think I've changed my question so far. Yes, I know Venus. I was just kidding. I know for are you know Venus. That I was also kidding, girl. You know that. Okay. So in the meantime, all those people who are watching me right now, let's practice a tongue twister. One more. I have it open right in front of me, though. It says, "I saw, I saw Susie. I saw Susie. I'm just gonna spell Susie for you because Susie is the name of a person. S." U S I E Susie I saw Susie I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop The first line of the tongue twister is I saw Susie just a moment I need to just do something here Okay, oh uh, no, it's hidden, it's hidden, it's hidden. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Okay, the first one was, what was the first line? The first line is, I saw Susie, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe, sorry, I saw, I saw Susie, I saw Susie, 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 I'm just going to spell Susie for you, S-U-S-I-E, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop, shoe is the shoe that you wear, S-H-O-E, shoe, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop, shop, you, you say your P sound like shop, right? I saw, you make that all here, saw, I saw, see, in American English, people pronounce it like sa, but we're gonna, we're gonna say it like saw, I saw, see, saw, seen, second form of see, saw, I, I, you're gonna call yourself I, not I, but I, I saw, I saw Susie, Sitting, sitting as in sitting, like this is sitting, sitting is an action. Sitting, S-I-T-T-I-N-G. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. A shoe shine, S-H-I-N-E, in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where? She sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. I think this is the correct one. Let me just check. Let me just read it from here. Is it correct? And where she shines. Okay, where she shines, she sits. Okay, got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. That was a long one. I had to read it. Okay. So, one more time. The first line was... I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Yes, Farah, you're right. The second line is, 
Where she sits, she shines. Where she sits. Normally, people would say where she shits. But we don't have to say that shits, shits. That has a different meaning altogether. Where she sits, she shines. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. That's long. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Just looking a little fancy today wearing this white top. Thank you so much. And I have tied my hair as well today, you know, because it's a hot day. So I appreciate it. That's very kind of you. So, um, uh, Abdul Hasib is complaining, and I don't recommend any other person to complain. Uh, ma'am, it seems to be a Chinese online language. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Okay, moving forward, uh, we are going to read again uh, the tongue twister. That is, I saw Susie. I saw Susie. Where she sits, sits. S-I-T-S, Dr. Abdul. S-I-T-S. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. How funny is that? Safir has written, where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Now try to see. Farah is here with the right kind of, you know, right kind of what? Right kind of tongue twister. Yes. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits. She shines where she shines, she sits. Farah, I'm clapping for you, girl. You are an amazing girl. Amazing. You're awesome. Okay, Shiroz uh, Hamid is saying that spending leisure time with loved ones, mm, loved ones make stronger, make strong bond, bound, bo okay, bonding, I think so. You have written a wrong spell in here. Bonding in relationship, I want to talk about my favorite holiday place is a uh, Dubai Mall. That's great. Sits, sir. Sits, not sets. Sits. S-I-T-S. Ma'am, please tell me the way to pronounce the vowel. Uh, A-E-I-O-U. A-E-A-O-U. U. A. Uh, sorry, I need to do it again. A. A. E. Sorry, what is it? A e a o u, I think so. A e i o u, yeah, that is the way. H is, that's like horse, house, ha ha. It's like ha. It's just like that for the sound of H. Oh my God! No worries, doctor. No, not a problem at all. Not if it's a mistake. Uh, Muhammad Imran Imran is saying that what is the best book uh, what you can what you would suggest for grammar and uh, sir I would say that grammar don't try to learn it like grammar grammar whenever you're reading something once you read it just observe that sentence that what's going on in that sentence if it's written that she remembers to kill the mosquitoes at night to see that you know what's happening with the formal verb because tenses and grammar has a lot to do with like uh, the formal verbs right so just observe I would not say get a book whatever you're reading in the entire day that's enough for you to learn that what is the correct pronunciation what is the correct way of saying something or writing something now I'm gonna tell you a very very common grammatical mistake that people normally make and that grammatical mistake is I didn't we did not they use the second or the third form of verb I I did not done it I have heard that I did not done it now for you you don't have to read a book or something maybe you have heard a teacher calling it I didn't do it so you're just thinking that, uh, I did not do it. This means that I have to use the first form of verb after did. And then, then you hear people, then you hear people saying, she doesn't loves me. 
you hear that she doesn't loves me but you hear somebody or an english speaker calling that she she doesn't love me so then you understand oh i need to use the first form of verb after doesn't oh that is great so i would not recommend people to go for the books books but i would say that go for the um go for the like whatever, whatever sounds right to you you know if you have heard that okay uh have you have you have you have you okay have you have you taken your lunch have you taken your lunch you know that the third form of verb is taken or stuff like that so just observe the form of verbs and people are talking farah is saying thank you thank you farah no problem at all you're beautiful um miro mar is saying that hello good to see you zay zaygum is saying that correct pronounce see there are two pronunciations of this word british pronunciation of the word z z uh, american people pronounce it like z z or z whatever you like whatever you like choice is yours okay so uh good to teach thank you okay you're teaching well i think so he's trying to say that so the tongue twister for today please guys practice it i saw susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits she shines where she shines she sits uh, just kidding just saying okay uh somebody saying okay practice it guys uh i have corrected you zegum already i've told you the pronunciation okay so i saw susie sitting in a shoe shine shop shop like correct your pronunciation of the ending syllables like how to drop that thing like shop you know i saw oh making that oh i saw susie sitting now i have heard the word sitting sitting no sitting 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 i saw susie sitting in a shoe shine shop i saw susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits where she sits she shines and where she shines she sits right please practice this one uh, uh sayed hasan is saying hi ma'am i am sayed hasan and i am all right and i hope that you will be all right too thank you and all those people who are watching me right now guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and subscribe i have put the link in the description box and um my channel is named after lavi school of language lavi school of language what lavi school of language right please go and subscribe to my youtube channel and once you have done that let me know i'll send you hearts and love okay so um did you guys practice your tongue twister for today or not today or not not tell me about it have you practiced already have you practiced the peter piper one how many of you guys are new in here what is the best book that you would suggest for grammar there i think it's the same question and uh and uh, and is grammar uh, grammar's knowledge is essential prerequisite to become a, no not at all no 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 to become a fluent speaker you don't need grammar if you are going to meet some british people living uh you know in the suburban areas or whatever people make a lot of grammatical errors but they are very fluent i'm just telling you this right listening and repeating is the only way to be fluent you don't really have to learn grammar like some people don't even know the concept of grammar i'm just telling you this but for writing of course you need to learn the grammar because while you're writing you have to be very precise and accurate when we are speaking english is such an amazing language that allows you to say something in 10 different ways and still you're correct right uh, so i don't think so it's a prerequisite no it might be like fourth or fifth not the first one not at all not at all not at all not at all uh farah has said that uh farah has said that what farah farah i missed your message farah okay um for hasan gul afridi saying hi madam hi how are you chef amir khan is saying lavi school rocks 
thank you noor m Bologi saying hello ma'am how are you noor i'm good thank you so much for asking farah abasi saying yes i subscribed yesterday farah you're amazing i'm sending out love to you okay zegam uh ma'am how we can improve our spoken very wide very huge question but i would just say start off with listening much bbc world radio start listening to your favorite speakers start listening to your favorite motivational speaker try to mimic them try to copy them and try to copy them unless you feel that oh my god i can copy that person exactly the way this person is speaking so this is the only way in the beginning even if you don't understand some of the words even if you cannot make sense of the sentences the first thing is training your tongue to speak in a in a way because of course it's not your language so your tongue fumbles when you're speaking in english your your tongue starts fumbling something happens and you cannot speak confidently right so we have a uh, prince uh first time prince jd has joined for the first time and uh write write a board i wish i could have a board in here i could type in here i have another setup someday of course i will i will i will try to do that any your fun is here any you're amazing you are an amazing girl and today you have gotten my text already uh any has written the tongue twister here in the comment section my tongue twister for today was I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Right? This is the tongue twister for today. So two people got it absolutely right. One person was Farah, and the second person, Annie Irfan. We need to clap for them. Wherever you guys are, please clap. You guys are amazing. Any and any 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 which city you, do you come from? Dayar Zirari is saying in this video live, everyone they can uh, learn English. Yes, they can because I'm here for you guys to help you out. And uh, Chef Amir Khan is saying that I subscribed to your YouTube channel too yesterday. Educated Lofar is saying that in the words of should would why not pronounced would word L. Hey, hey, hey! Why would you call it wool? It has to be would or should or could. Okay, so Farah is saying I'm going to copy you. Yes, you can copy me. Farah, you can even make a video of yours while you uh, copy all the tongue twisters that you have learned in two days. One, uh, the Peter Piper one and the Biscuit one and uh, this one. Um... Hi, Annie. That's great. I'm also in Lahore right now. That's amazing uh mimicry mimicry okay guys the best way to mimic is this that if i'm giving you a tongue twister what you need to do is everybody is having their camera everyone is having their camera everyone has a recorder in their phone record your own voice and or either make a video of yourself for example we are practicing this tongue twister for today that is i saw susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits she shines where she shines she sits so just like sitting in front of the camera and saying it for yourself and then trying to see that oh how does it sound does it sound similar to that am i fumbling somewhere is my pronunciation not absolute so then this is what you can do right and this is the best way to mimic and if you're watching some english movies like you can watch harry potter you can use like you can watch any like british films right and try to stop after like a scene stop and replay that and and act like me right? for example um okay uh i forgot that tongue twister coffee a cup of coffee in a coffee shop uh can you guys so if you're if you're there can you search for that one a cup of coffee one. I don't remember that full tongue twister. Can you guys Google that one? Anyone who can use Google right now because I can't because I'm, uh, I'm live right now. How to grow my vocabulary, ma'am. Vishal. Vishal is from India. Seems to be from India. Vishal, all those people who have... Uh, just tuned in please subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language lavi school of language please subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language and i have mentioned the link in the comment not in the comment section in the description box please subscribe to my channel i was just telling you guys that how you can improve your pronunciation if you have a camera if you have a recorder in your phone 
record yourself while you're saying something check for yourself that how well i can mimic mimicry is the best way to get the correct pronunciation and to be fluent if you cannot understand the grammar forget about it if you cannot understand if you cannot understand some of the words forget about that the first thing is learn how to mimic an english speaker this is the first step towards your success towards becoming um, a, an, an efficient English speaker. Okay, so we have a lot of comments in here. So many people who have joined me in here by far. Vishal is saying that how to grow my vocabulary. Sir, I have told this many times, but I'm going to tell you again. Probably you are watching me for the first time. Grow your vocabulary on a seed. Learn the basic words. For example, I'm just going to give you an example from the very basic word that is beautiful. Now, beautiful is the most basic word that we have in English, right? Now, try to build on it and then you say glamorous. Now, glamorous is a word from intermediate English, right? And then growing on top, what do we have? We call prepossessing like prepossessing or we say alluring now alluring or prepossessing these words are not commonly used right or you say exquisite you put it on top exquisite starting off with a very basic word that was beautiful and then building a tree of advanced english vocabulary words on top this is the way to learn vocabulary linking the big words with the smallest word, the smallest basic word that you know, right? And this is the best way to remember vocabulary. Vishal, I hope I answered your question. Dear ma'am, I have a big problem in speaking English. Please help me. Ibrar Sambad is saying that, Sir, I'm trying to help as much as possible. The tongue twister for today, I can repeat for you once again. Please type in the comment section below if you can understand. The tongue twister for today is I saw Susie. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. This is your tongue twister. You can practice that. Okay, so we have Dr. Zarari who's saying accept video live another way. Can you can tell us learn perfectly? See, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one session as well. And if you want to join a one-on-one -on -one session, that is not for free. Of course, it's a paid session. If you can pay, of course, I can teach you one-on-one. -on -one. Dr. Zarari, I'm just telling you. Muhammad Nadim is saying, hi, how are you? Zegam is saying, ma'am, kindly mention tongue twister lesson on page also. Yes, sir. This is a very good advice. I'm definitely going to do that. Muhammad Bilal Khan is saying, ma'am, can we have, can we do vlogging together? Yes, Muhammad. I know who you are, boy. I know you have a beautiful puppy. Are you the same Muhammad Bilal or somebody else? Vishal is saying, yes, ma'am. I'm from India. I love India. India is great. I love SRK. He's so cute and handsome. And I love, uh, there's another one. Salman Khan. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay. Fi, uh, Hafiza is saying, uh, give Papa, uh, uh, Papa. Yes, thank you so much for searching it for me. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee in a cup of coffee cup. Thank you so much. But it was the the one that I remember. Um, cook me a cup of proper coffee in a copper coffee pot. It was like this. The one that I knew. That was like, um, can you? Okay, I just remember. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pizza. Thank you so much for reminding me. I just remembered. I just remembered the one that I know. Okay. Can you cook me? This is your next tongue twister. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you cook me? Can you cook me a proper cup of coffee? Can you cook me a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot? Copper, C O P P E R, copper. Coffee, C O F F E. -E. I'm very bad at spelling, but I'm sure I'm doing a good job here. Okay. Can you? Can. We're just making can. Can is also there, but we're just making it can. N. N. We're pronouncing the ending uh, syllable like can. Can. Right? Can. Can you cook me? Cook. K -k -k. Say the K sound. Can you cook me 
a proper, proper like proper, P R O P E R. Can you cook me a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot? Pot is a utensil, right? Uh, we have uh, uh, to repair and uh, okay, but we haven't done this one. Okay, uh, Muhammad Imran uh, Imran Imran is saying hi. I want to, I want to, I want, uh, all I want is a proper cup of coffee. Madam, in a proper coffee pot. Hey, man, you got it. Great. This is a good one. Okay. Yes, this is my first time, ma'am. Vishal, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. It's Lavi School of Language. Lavi School of Language. Husnan Youssef is saying the rules of grammar are very teasing for me. And when I write, I uh, it becomes difficult to remember these rules. And if I try to recall these rules during writing, I get distracted from the main idea, a theme of writing. Any remedy, please? Okay, Hus 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 Husnan Yusef, I might have to read your comment once again. The rules of grammar are very teasing me. Okay, so you're disturbed by the... I trust me, I'm such a teacher that... Who would say that grammar? Mm, don't try to get your head into grammar. If you're a beginner, don't try to do that. Trust me. If you want to be a fluent speaker, just learn how to mimic people and try to get the sense of sounds and vibration. And this is the best way. Grammar is like, ugh. You know, that is good for, for people who want to write or something like that. But if you want to be a good speaker, be a good listener, be a good mimicker, be a person who can just copy well. You know, that's the that's the best way ever. The rules of grammar, sorry. So I just told you that um, become difficult to remember. Trust me, grammar, every day they discover, they keep on discovering new terms and new definitions and all that. They have made grammar a very difficult language, must say so. You know, for people who have English as their secondary language or as their second language, they get so upset with the grammar part because it's so adjectives, adverbs, uh, phrasal verbs and all that going on and all those fancy names, auxiliary verbs and all that. You know, there's there's pretty much a lot going on, right? So uh, it becomes it difficult to remember, right? And I get distracted from the main idea theme. Hey, sir, first of all, you need to have this belief that whatever you know, you know it. You need to believe in yourself and start writing when you're writing, believe you in your own opinion. Do not try to Google again and again for the information. First of all, write whatever you have in your head, right? Rai Akram Kaki Aki Aki or whatever. Ma'am, I want to improve my speaking skills. How is it possible? Let me read all the questions. Muhammad M. Kuyali is saying, I'm from Jordan. Jordan is a beautiful place. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, Angelina. I love you too much. Chitana is saying that I'm from Morocco. Oh, Morocco. Oh, my God. I love Moroccan culture. Like, it's so amazing. The art and the details that they put on everything. It's the food. Oh, my God. You you belong to an awesome place, sir. Mirza Rizwan Siddiqui is saying, I have a lot of problem in speaking session. Please help me. Vishal is here again. I couldn't understand your explanation of improving vocabulary. Please explain again, ma'am. I will. Vishal, I will. Because you have a, an amazing question. Vishal, listen. Listen to me. I'm just saying that learning vocabulary through learning synonyms is the best way possible there are three levels of english we call it a beginner level we call it an inter intermediate level and we call it an advanced level you know that simple correct or not okay now the beginner level of english has the basic words like i gave you the example of a very basic word that is beautiful then moving on the intermediate level, you, you, what, what, what you'll do, you will take your copy or diary, whatever you have, you will start making, making a tree of every word where you have the basic word as a seed, as a root, right? And then you start growing on top. First, uh, you would write words on, I, don't, I think so, I should demonstrate it for you. For example, this is the word happy that you have written here, right? And then you start like drawing up, right? So you write the word beautiful here, and then from the word from intermediate English, that is gorgeous. 
gorgeous, right? And then you move on top, and then you st start right, prepossessing or luring. You're just you're just making tears or layers. You know that these words are originating from a very basic word that is beautiful. That is the way of improving your vocabulary. You keep it linked, and once you once you do that, try to write a story out of that. Probably, if it's just the synonyms are beautiful, then what you need to do, you need to you need to write a story maybe of a princess or or a queen or I like a princess, so I would always write a story of a princess. You can write any kind of story about that. Samar uh, is saying, that, thank you, miss, no problem. Muhammad Imran Imran is saying, all I want is a proper cup of coffee uh, made in a proper copper coffee pot. Yes, I said it already, sir. Thank you so much for helping me. I want to know every day uh, you would have a live video. Yes, almost every day I come online. Um, I come online between half past, half past six to nine in between that um i come online uh that is pakistan time and uh p.m in the evening uh, safir is saying can you cook me a proper cup of coffee in a cup of coffee pod yes far is saying can you cook me a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pod copper farah you missed the word copper here harris name is saying hi ma'am how are you How's your health? I'm good. I'm good. How long it's been? I'm sitting in here. Trust me, my back is killing me right now. I might have to fix myself. Okay. See, this is the problem that you have to check your messages to. And Mirza Rizwan is saying that I have a lot of problem in speaking. Please suggest me some tricks. Mirza always say that, you know, speaking is all about communicating and building that connection with your listener. Tips and tricks is not a way. You just need to feel that thing that I need to connect with a person. Sometimes you might not know the grammar, but you have that ability to explain. Maybe you are not an English speaker and you have a pain in your shoulder or you got an accident and you come to me and you say that, um, ma'am, I hurt. I hurt. I in pain, right? You did not use the correct grammar but i got your idea first of all without being scared of grammar you need to start explaining yourself either broken words or broken sentences this is the first tip uh muhammad naim is saying can you cook me a, can you cook me can you cook me a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot okay thank you copper cocked not <laughs> please that's not okay muhammad you're not okay okay um uh mirza is saying tell me angelina uh, uh yes exactly i'm in pakistan right now okay so uh mariam nasir is saying that good style thank you so much mariam malik hey guys i have a school in pakistan lahore that is Lavi School of Language. I, I am a language trainer and I am an IELTS coach as well. Right, Farah is saying, but students have to learn grammar. Yes, students have to learn grammar for writing, uh, Farah, but the first thing is this, that the more... Have you ever seen kids, like you have seen like five-year-old kids or two-year-old kids, even from your own country, India and Pakistan, where, where they do, do not have English as their first language. They just learn by watching TV and cartoons. How do they learn that? They don't even know grammar, but they can answer all the questions that an adult cannot answer. Just think about that. This is the mechanism. This is the mechanism that we have, right? We learn through listening and repeating. We learn through mimicking. This is how we learn, Farah. This is the best way to learn. Um, Meetan Sakri is saying, hi, ma'am. How are you? We're... Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, of I don't. I can't read your name. I think I've told you. I come from Venus. Thank you. Uh, uh, I said Venus. That's a planet. I did not say Venus. Okay. So thank you so much for explanation of 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 my question. Happy meeting you here, ma'am. You are solving our problems about English. So big. Thank you. No problem, sir. I I just answered your question. But the entire entire practice depends on you how well you practice it and how you do not give up i'm telling you guys i've seen so many people as an english coach that they give up they give up right in between when they're so close to getting what they want and then they land on ground zero see it happens see it happens i'm telling you i'm telling you when i was studying in uk i i had to study french one course of French and I remember I passed that course really really well 
But what happened later on? I forgot and never practiced it. I only remembered lovey, right? Or or some words of Italian. I don't know. You forget. You forget. If you don't use that language, you normally forget. So what you need to do is the practice depends on you. If it's not your first language, you kind of forget it. You kind of don't remember. You kind of feel shy. You feel reluctant to practice. You feel you feel upset to talk to people as well, right? So I want to join. Zara is saying that I want to join people everyone who is watching me right now for free live sessions you can subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language and if you want to join a one on one session what one on one session on skype then you can whatsapp me on my number that is 0331450908 right you can whatsapp me on my number zaki bari ali is saying my name is zaki and i live in a country that doesn't uh, where uh, nobody speaks english except a little bit um what could you please help me tips can i um do over there zaki if you if you could write the name of your uh, country please Zaki, wherever you're living, you have internet. You have access to international friends. You have access to so many people on Instagram, on Facebook. Make friends with people who can chat with you in English, right? Text them. Don't annoy them, but text them. Anyone who can be friends with you and talk to you in English. It's very important. Zaki, this is what you can do. Or you can talk to yourself. You can watch English movies. You can mimic. You can practice tongue twisters. You can join me live every day. This is what you can do. Ome Hani is saying that, Hi, ma'am. Uh, always good to hear from you. And I always try to mimic you. And having a desire to attend your live class. Oh, Ome Hani, I love you. Thank you so much, girl. And keep on practicing until you feel that Oh, I sound good. I sound very similar to this person. And if it's not me, start listening to BBC World News or BBC Radio. Not a big deal. Whoever you like. It could be any of your favorite actors. It could be any of your favorite motivational speakers. It could be anyone. But listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. You can even listen to your favorite music and repeat it. Mohammed Imran is saying, you look like Pakistani, not Japanese. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I told you, I don't really have to talk about this. Okay, Vishal Baranwal is saying that my pronunciation is so poor, ma'am. How to improve pronunciation? Please explain. Okay, uh, Somalia. Oh my God, Somalia is a very... I have heard a lot about Somalia. There's a lot... Of there i should not say that people always said that there's a lot of uh what do you call that Ter terrorism in there uh imran what do you have to do with my looks do you have to marry me or something uh what's the problem okay so uh zara khan is saying i want to attend your live classes is it one-on-one -on -one or free i told you for free live classes you can uh you know just um subscribe to my youtube channel Yasini Kaja is saying that, hey guys, my battery is going to die, just 2%. I want to improve my English with the, uh, you, WhatsApp. You can WhatsApp me on my number, that is 0331450098. Malik Hassan is saying, uh, hi ma'am, you're great, may you know me? I don't know you, Malik, thank you so much. I don't really know you, and my battery is just about to die. It's just 2%. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. In sending out love for you guys and I hope I answered your questions all those people who joined me today I want to request again that please subscribe to my youtube channel that is Lavi school of language and uh, you can also follow me on my instagram I am using instagram as well that is Anna Angelina A N N A Anna Angelina A N G E L I N A Angelina one three four Anna Angelina one three four mm. uh, you can speak in fast I also want to speak fast and clear hey speaking fast is not the thing I'm I'm reading your comments that's why I'm trying to be quick normally I speak very slowly okay Zaki Bria is saying could you please repeat again your number oh three three one zero double three one four five double zero nine zero eight okay cool 
Okay, guys, my battery is about to die. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Farah, bye-bye. Take care. See you later.